Today I want to find out if you can hear the difference in a $69 microphone and a $199 microphone. Today I'm putting the Samsung Q2U up against the Rode PodMic USB. Now some parameters of the test real quick. They are both going into uh, my Zoom F3 recorder via XLR cables. It's a 32-bit recorder. Absolutely love this thing. Uh, in post right now, there's going to be no processing put on the microphones. The only thing that's going to be done, I'm going to normalize the levels so that they both have the same um, volume coming out, but you'll be able to hear the raw audio from both of these. Later, I will put processing on to see what kind of sound we can get out of both of these microphones to just see even further which one may be worth getting. Both of these microphones are set up approximately the same distance from my mouth. Yes, they're both off axis. But anytime I use a mic like this, I'm mostly going to be off axis anyway because it really helps to, to counteract any possible plosives that you may hear and, and be distracting on the video. All right, so let's kind of break down each microphone. Both of these microphones are XLR and USB input. Uh, the only difference is the Samsung is a um, USB Type B Mini. Uh, USB connection, whereas the, the Rode is a USB-C connection. Now, as far as the connection there to the, the computer, it's not a big difference at all. The Samsung comes with the cable. The Rode comes with the cable. The only downside there is uh, USB-C just happens to be so much more common that if you happen to lose that cable, then, of course, the Rode is going to be easier to replace than the Samsung, but they both perform very well. In fact, I think about the only upgrade that I would say you need on the Q2U is maybe to go to a USB-C uh, connection. Now, the, the, the Q9U has the USB-C, but this is a better microphone in my opinion, and I think it would be fantastic with a USB-C connection. So the point of today's audio is just, you know, depending on what budget you may have for a microphone, you may be looking at the Q2U as your first possible dynamic microphone. You may be interested in the Rode PodMic USB. They're at vastly different price points. Now, you know, full disclosure, neither one of these were sent to me, my company. These have been bought by my own money. This was the very first dynamic microphone I ever bought. And then I was um, gifted a bunch of Amazon gift cards for Christmas, so I was able to purchase this one uh, through Amazon as well. Um, so these are my microphones. I have purchased them with my money, um, just because I'm a I'm a gear nerd, you know. <laughs> Whoa, did you get the 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 road because it's better? You're not happy with the Q2U? No, I'm just a nerd and just like to get gear, probably like you if you're watching this video. Okay, so what I want to do is I've picked out a paragraph from Lord of the Rings. Uh, I'm going to read it. I'm going to record it with both microphones at the same time so that there's not a variance between each recording. And I'm going to let you listen to it from uh, one microphone and then listen to it again from another microphone. They picked away among the trees, and their ponies plodded along, carefully, avoiding the many writhing and interlacing roots. There was no undergrowth. The ground was rising steadily, and as they went forward, it seemed that the trees became taller, darker, thicker. There was no sound, except an occasional drip of moisture falling through the still leaves. For the moment, there were no whispers or movements among the branches, but they all got an uncomfortable feeling that they were being watched with disapproval, deepening to dislike and even enmity. The feeling steadily grew, until they found themselves looking up quickly, or glancing over their shoulders as if they expected a sudden blow. <laughs> That's a great book. <laughs> and they picked away among the trees, and their ponies plodded along, carefully, avoiding the many writhing and interlacing roots. There was no undergrowth. The ground was rising steadily, and as they went forward, it seemed that the trees became taller, darker, thicker. There was no sound, except an occasional drip of moisture falling through the still leaves. For the moment, there were no whispers or movements among the branches, but they all got an uncomfortable feeling that they were being watched with disapproval, deepening to dislike and even enmity. The feeling steadily grew, until they found themselves looking up quickly or glancing over their shoulders as if they expected a sudden blow. That's a great book. <laughs>
All right, so you have now listened to that paragraph on A and B. I'm going to tell you exactly which microphone was which. Microphone A has been the Rode uh, <laughs> pod mic USB the whole time. Microphone B has been the Samsung Q2U. Could you tell the difference? Did you like one over the other? You know, that just kind of helps out. Just being able to hear it without knowing what it is to kind of help take that bias out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to replay those paragraphs, but this time I'm going to uh, process the audio so that kind of fine-tune it a little better for my voice so that you can see how it sounds when it's been fine-tuned, and you can probably get very similar results with your voice. They picked away among the trees, and their ponies plodded along carefully, avoiding the many writhing and interlacing roots. There was no undergrowth. The ground was rising steadily, and as they went forward, it seemed that the trees became taller, darker, thicker. There was no sound, except an occasional drip of moisture falling through the still leaves. For the moment, there were no whispers or movements among the branches, but they all got an uncomfortable feeling that they were being watched with disapproval, deepening to dislike and even enmity. The feeling steadily grew, until they found themselves looking up quickly, or glancing over their shoulders as if they expected a sudden blow. <laughs> That's a great book. <laughs> and they picked away among the trees, and their ponies plodded along, carefully, avoiding the many writhing and interlacing roots. There was no undergrowth. The ground was rising steadily, and as they went forward, it seemed that the trees became taller, darker, thicker. There was no sound, except an occasional drip of moisture falling through the still leaves. For the moment, there were no whispers or movements among the branches, but they all got an uncomfortable feeling that they were being watched with disapproval, deepening to dislike and even enmity. The feeling steadily grew, until they found themselves looking up quickly or glancing over their shoulders as if they expected a sudden blow. That's a great book. <laughs> hey, future Rodney here, um, editing the video, and I'm finding it very interesting that the raw audio coming out of the pod mic USB is very, very muddy. It's uh, perhaps this pop filter is uh, causing some of the audio to cut out because it's a very, very good pop filter. I, I like this pop filter a lot, but it seems to be cutting out some of my S's and cutting out some of my plosive sounds which I find very interesting. Um, now, once you go into the process audio, it, it's totally different ball game. Like the audio sounds a whole lot better once it's processed. But, you know, if you don't want to process audio, that's definitely something that you should take into account uh, moving forward if you're going to purchase one of these microphones. All right, so future, future Rodney here. <laughs> I decided... Let me go back and take the pop filter off of both of these microphones and see what the raw audio sounds like without the pop filter on to see if that actually makes a difference because, you know, like I said, it was cutting out on the road, uh, but the, the, the Samsung sounded really, really, really good, uh, even with the pop filter on, but the road was kind of doing some weird muffled thing where it was cutting certain uh, sounds out. So I just wanted, I know I'm kind of rambling here, but I just wanted to talk for just a moment just to give both of these raw audios a chance for you to be able to hear it, um, just to see if the road continues to cut sound out in the raw, unprocessed audio. I don't know. Back to the video. So there you have it. <laughs> I have compared both of these microphones. Um... Which one should you buy? That's completely and totally up to you. Which one sounded better to you? Because there's not a wrong answer here. Um, they're both fantastic microphones. It's your money, your budget. You buy the one you like more. Um, you know, if they sound similar, but you're like, man, I just really want the Rode. You know what? Go ahead and buy the Rode because if you don't, you're going to end up buying it anyway. I happen to own both of these microphones, so I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I'm going to go with this one. Or I'm going to go with that one because I have both of them. I like both of them, so you pick the one that you thought sounded the best. That being said, let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Which one sounds better to you? How could I do these review videos better? I'm always open to suggestions. That being said, if you want to hear this microphone paired up against another popular Rode microphone, the Rode Video Mic Go 2, check out this link right here. Other than that, guys, I'll talk to you later.